Hi everybody. Since I posted these pictures of the hydrangeas that I made with coffee filters, folks have asked me to please do a little tutorial video. And so I thought I would do that for you here. These are the ones that I've done. The purple is the latest creation. So let's get started. What you'll need are eight coffee filters per flower. We could probably do less, but this gives them the most volume. I use acrylic paints, any color that you wish to make your, your um, hydrangea. And of course, a paper plate. This is my painting palette. You'll need scissors, a pencil, floral tape, floral wire. You can also buy this wire pre-taped so you can eliminate this, eliminate this step. And you'll need a glue gun. That's pretty much it. So let's get started. So we're going to just take our first uh, coffee filter. We're going to load our brush up with some paint. And all you do is make scattered lines. No rhyme or reason. Wash that out. Take a different color. Add that in. I know it looks crazy, right? But trust me, once we're done with these, it's going to look fantastic. That's really all there is to making them. I have another one done already. You can see here. And once we're done with these, we'll do the folding technique that will make our flowers bloom. Let's do another one. Here's another. Just flatten it out. Take your paint. Now, of course, before you do your folding, you're going to want to make sure these are totally dry. And sometimes when there's a little bit thicker spot of paint, um, I will just take a paper towel and wipe over it a little bit to um, get up the excess and then you'll be ready to fold. You can do around the edges like this if you want more color all the way around the tips of the flowers or each petal. But that's really all there is to it. Very easy to do. So we'll go on to our next step. So while our coffee filters are drying, I have done eight of them, we're going to wrap the floral wire around, uh, the floral tape around the floral wire. The important thing to remember about when using floral tape is that in order to get it to stick, you must stretch it. Otherwise, it won't stick. This doesn't have to be perfect, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to take a bit of hot glue. Dab over here. Please be careful of your hot glue. Don't burn yourself like I do all the time. Now, again, the trick to the to wrapping the is to make sure that you stretch the floral tape as you're winding in order for it to stick to itself. and just keep wrapping it around until your entire wire is covered. You can, like I said earlier, you can purchase wires already wrapped, which probably is a little bit more, but you know, this step is a little bit time consuming and not my favorite part of the process, but regardless, once the flower is done and it's on here, it looks really fantastic. So just keep wrapping it around and again, don't forget, as you go, you can stretch it. I'll show you here how it stretches. You see how much bigger that is after I stretched it? So keep doing that until the whole wire is covered. So now that all of our filters are painted and dried, we're going to learn how to fold them. So let's begin, just fold it in half. 
So you have a semicircle, just like that. Then you fold it again, like this, and fold it again. Once you've gotten to this step, you're going to take your scissors, go in here, where there is a, a folded seam, and cut part of the way down, not all the way, obviously, because then you'll just cut your flower apart. So now it looks like that. I'm going to fold it again, and on that fold, on this folded side, we're going to cut again. Now, we want to lay this down. We're going to take our pencil and we're going to draw part some circles. And these are going to be the petals like that. And then you're going to draw a line down, or you can just remember that you'll have to cut it. You'll draw a line down like that. Now, you're going to start with the top part. Cut down, up and around. Cut out in between, cut out in between the flowers. Don't cut all the way through. You don't want to do that. So now it looks like this. I don't know how well you can see that. Go to the other side. And then here at the bottom, you're just going to cut a little tiny bit around and then go back and cut down long space here. Let's see if I can show you again. Just a very little. And then you're going to cut this piece here so that it will end up looking like this. Now, you're going to open your flower. And you'll open it all the way up. So that it will look like this. You'll do the same process for each of the of remaining seven. To do it one more time so you can see. Fold it in half, so you have a half circle. Fold that in half again, and fold it one more time like this. Where the seam is closed, you're going to take your scissors, insert it in between, just cut down probably about two thirds of the way, maybe. Fold over, we're going to flip. Fold it one more time. Go back. And where there's this fold, you're going to cut down part of the way. Next, you're going to draw in those circles. So that it looks like this. Ah, there you can see it a little better. Now we're going to cut around here. We're going to cut in between these little spaces, cut out these little wedges, and then just very carefully we're going to cut under these 
bottom flowers. We don't want to cut them all the way around. And we're going to cut out this notch here on both sides. So let's do that. So there's that step. We're going to do little notches between the petals. I want to round this out a little bit. You can play with this as you're cutting if you want it more rounded. Sometimes they come out a little too square for me. But then you just go back and trim. Now on the bottom here, just going to cut a little dab, just a little bit here, and cut out this notch. So we don't cut, we just cut a little rounded part and then cut up to that. Again, we're going to cut out a little bit and down the stem, and there we have it. Now we can open these up. Some of the pieces at the top, the petals will be attached and some won't, that's fine. In nature, all flowers are not identical, nor are their petals all the same. So now we'll open that up, and there you have it, we have two petals. When you start to stack them, you can, you don't have to put the lay them directly on top of one, I mean the, the petals directly over other petals, you can kind of turn it around so that you get some nice volume. But that's that step, and I'll come back when we have everything done and we're ready to start putting them on the wire. So now that all of these are cut out, we're ready to assemble them. I put a little dab of glue a little bit down this stem. I've wrapped it. It's not the best job. I'll have to go back and fix it. But So you can stack them here and they won't slide down your stem. So what I do, put a little bit of hot glue again to stick that first little petal. You find the center of your filter. Stick it through. And then push it down over the glue. Just like that. Now we're going to put another dab of glue. Take our next filter, find the center, poke it through, and stick it down onto the next one. And you're going to repeat that until all eight filters have been put on here. It goes pretty quickly. So a little dab of glue. Some uh, tutorials I've seen haven't used glue. They've just stacked them, but I do because I want them to stay adhered to one another and not flop around. So you see, we're building those layers. It's getting nice and thick. There's another one. Be careful not to bunch it up. So it lays flat on that glue. There we go, there comes another. Have a couple of more only. See, it goes very quickly. Look how nice and fluffy that is. Another dab of glue. Of course, always when working with a hot glue gun, be very careful not to burn yourself. She who burns herself all the time says, another dab, and here's our final, our final filter. Now, you see this, one thing I do, if you have needle nose pliers, use them. This is a little bit long, but I'm just, let me cut that down actually. There we go. And then I just take it. And I bend it over and put a little glue there just to hold it in place. Now, 
you just take all of your petals, hold it up like this, and you scrunch. You're not going to ruin them. In fact, you're going to make them look more realistic by doing this. And then you flip, fluff them out like this. And there you have it. A beautiful hydrangea. You can play with it until you get just the way you want it to look. Now, you might want to affix a... a um, you might want to affix... Oh, here's one thing I did want to tell you. Sometimes these things flop around. Just fold it up like that. If you can, grab it. A little dab of glue. And it'll hold it down so they don't flop all over the place. Sometimes a couple of them might have a mind of their own. But that's it. You just crunch. A little crunch. Like the hairdo thing we used to do crunch your hair. Well, it's kind of the same thing. But look how beautiful that is. It looks so realistic. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to, oh, I pulled the cut off. We're going to make a leaf. Again, out of a coffee filter. You can use a coffee filter, or you can use an old page from a book, or you can use an old page of sheet music, but I'm going to use a coffee filter because that's what I have on hand. And here you can see I painted a coffee filter. It's not all filled in. It's kind of haphazard. Because when we do this leaf, we're going to fold this in half. Hydrangea leaves are a little bit fatter. So we're going to have to cut that out of, um, of this. But we'll fold it over once it's dry. Cut out the leaf. Assert the wire. And then you can, you can hot glue the two sides of the leaf together and affix it to your stem. So here's the step. So we've painted it. It's pretty well dried. What you want to do is just fold it in half. Then you want to draw your leaf. Hydrangea leaves are kind of fat. Oh, no, I shouldn't do it that way. I should do it this way. I should draw the whole leaf out. There we go. And I'm going to cut out two of those because I dropped the wire. Hydrangea leaves as are, as I said, a little on the fat side. So there you have your two leaves. Always have a bag hanging nearby. So now we're just going to affix the wire at the top, at the bottom, and in the middle. There we go, and then we take our hydrangea, and you can bend this certainly because it's wire, you can bend it any way you like. You want to affix it to your hydrangea using your wire, um, ay, yeah, yeah, I can't talk today, using your floral wire. And we'll hold it down against the stem, just like in nature. <laughs> Again, remember, stretch your floral tape so that it sticks to itself, otherwise it won't. Here's that little spot that I kind of messed up on. I'm just going to wrap it right around there. Oh, it's part of the 
part of the branch now. A few more twists and pinch it kind of good again so it'll stick to itself. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue inside here to hold the leaf together. There we go. A little over here. Always be careful of that glue gun. And there you have it. Our hydrangea with the hydrangea leaf. In a moment, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the rest of the hydrangeas I've already made. So here are the beautiful hydrangeas. I made the purple one earlier today. Here's our beautiful blue and that hydrangea leaf that we made today. Here's one that looks like it's dried out a little bit, but that's how they look when they begin to dry out. But they're still so lovely, that brownish yellow color. You can make this any color you like. Go on the internet, look up pictures of hydrangeas, and just have fun with it. I hope you like this little tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section below. I'm always happy to answer your questions. And I look forward to seeing you again. If you have any other ideas for, for something you'd like to make and share, please share that in the comments below. Uh, but I hope that you'll subscribe to this channel, Plus Images TV. Just look it up that way, all lowercase, all one word, Plus Images TV. And uh, come back and see me again. Thanks for suggesting this video, friends. Please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and of course, always leave a comment. I'm glad to hear from you. And remember that the measure of your worth is not determined by your dress size, your age, race, gender, or ability. Everyone is welcome here. Until next time, everybody, I wish you a very good evening.